India vs New Zealand, second T20 highlights, New Zealand captain Mitchell Santner won the toss and opted to bat first in the second T20I in Lucknow. Having won the first T20I in Ranchi, New Zealand did not make any changes to their winning combination. Hardik Pandya said India too wanted to bat first. The hosts made one change, bringing in Yuzvendra Chahal for Yumran Malik. That gives them three spin bowling options, Washington Sundar and Kuldeep Yadav being the other two. Brilliant bowling from India to keep this to 99. Yes, batting not easy but it's surely at least 130 pitch. Most of the New Zealand top order batters weren't playing with straight bats. In fact, the first three wickets fell to reverse sweeps. Hardik put on the squeeze with spinners. Got in arsh deep only for the 18th and 20th and the left armour didn't disappoint. Finn Allen was the first batsman to get out in fourth over to Chahal. He tries the reverse sweep because he doesn't have the confidence to step down and attack with the threat of missing the ball with so much turn on offer. Went for the reverse sweep, missed, ball hits the body and disturbs the stumps. Conway tried the reverse sweep trying to make most of the power play. The ball touched the glove before going up off the arm and Ishan had a simple catch in fifth over. Washington Sundar got his wicket. Glenn Phillips was bowled by Hudu in seventh over. Three reverse sweeps, three downfalls for New Zealand. This is a poor, poor dismissal. Wonder why he's not looking to hit down the ground with the ball only turning into him as opposed to a leggy. Phillips early into the reverse sweep. Didn't even have a big bat swung, so he was just looking to play it fine. Totally missed the ball and Huda hits middle and leg. Cool Dip Yardov took the fourth wicket of Mitchell in tenth over. Massive turn to hit off stump. The last ball would have been a single if not for that brilliant fielding effort from Cool Dip Yardov himself. It kept Mitchell on strike and how he's out bowled. Shortish delivery, Mitchell went back but wasn't going back too much. Ball spun sharply and rushed on him. Went past the inside edge and hit off stump flush. Another key wicket lost by New Zealand. Chapman run out in 13 over was the fifth wicket of New Zealand. Disaster for New Zealand. If batting already wasn't difficult, they gift a wicket in the form of a mid-pitch mix-up. So this was a reverse sweep that was top-edged. Cool deep slipped so he couldn't attempt the catch. Yes no, yes no between Chapman and Bracewell and Chapman was in the middle of the pitch when Cool Deep lobbed the ball to Ishan Kishan for an easy run out. In 17th over Hardik Pandya took the wicket of Bracewell. Top a G. Taken very close to the fine leg boundary. Brilliantly done by Ash Deep. Was going back, so he released the ball just in time before crossing the rope. Got back in and caught it again. Short delivery from Hardik. Bracewell looks to pull, gets a top edge and holds out. Ashdeep Singh took the wicket of Sodi in 18 over. Dot short delivery, Sodi backs away for a pull, tough pitch to get going straight away and it's proper mishit to Midden. Simple catch for Midden. Second wicket of the over for Ashdeep Singh. Short delivery, surprise short ball. Ferguson looks to hop and defend, the ball jumps on him, takes the glove and flies to backward point. 2 for Ashdeep Singh this over. New Zealand score 99 runs with lose of 8 wickets in 20 overs. Top scorer was Sandno with 19 runs. For India Ashdeep Singh took 2 wickets and the rest of the bowlers share 1 wicket each. India lost its first wicket on 4th over. Bracewell removes Gill. Chaman Gill perishes playing the pull shot. Shortest off break, spins and bounces. Gill rocks back to pull and the ball lobs up towards deep backward square leg off the top edge. A dolly for Allen and New Zealand have the breakthrough. Second run out of the match, Ishan Kishan run out in ninth over. Pushed towards mid wicket off the inside edge and there's a mix up. Kishan wants the second but gets sent back. The throw comes to the bowler's end and Santner collects the ball cleanly to break the sticks. The wickets light up and no part of the bat is over the line. Out. Superb work from Phillips as well. Ran quick to his left towards the mid-wicket region, put in the slide to collect the ball and was swift to release the ball to the correct end. Three down for India in 11 overs. Foolish leg break from Sodi with a hint of spin, Tripathi gets down on one leg to sweep. 
decent contact but doesn't get the necessary elevation and gets the placement wrong. Phillips moves to his right from deep mid wicket to reverse cup it. Washington Sundar run out. Mix up, both batters at the same end and India lose their fourth wicket. Tossed up off break, Zuya Kumar Yadav gets down low to reverse sweep. Big appeal for LBW as the ball rolls towards backward point. Hit the bat slash glove, deflected onto the pad and then rolled to backward point. Zuya Kumar Yadav kept running while Washington Sundar was stationed at the other end. The latter sacrifices his wicket. New Zealand reviewed for LBW against Sky but it was clearly bat first. A distraught Washington Sundar takes the long walk back. India chase down the target of 100 in last over with the loss of four wickets. India won the match by six wicket and level the series. Zuya Kumar Yadav with the 26 runs was the top scorer for India. Zuya Kumar Yadav is also player of the match. The Lucknow crowd erupts in joy. Rahul Dravid stands to applaud and Hardik Pandya hugs Sky. Relief in the Indian camp. Who'd have thought that this game would go down to the wire? A lot of credit to the New Zealand bowlers for putting up a spirited fight after India restricted them to 99. New Zealand used five spinners and they were mostly on the money to continuously exert pressure on the Indian batters. You know that it's a tough batting track when Zuya Kumar is struggling. A gun T20 player, Sky struggled to time the ball, got a couple of reprieves and was involved in a mix-up. But he stayed till the end. Stitched an unbeaten 31 run stand with Captain Hardik and hit his first boundary off his 31st delivery, which also turned out to be the winning runs. 239 legal deliveries bowled and there wasn't a single six hit today. 